In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between Tableau Desktop and Tableau Public. I get this question all the time. We're going to go through exactly what the differences are. I'm going to have both of them on my system, and we're going to actually compare them side by side. So before we begin, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I release new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So let's get into, not Tableau, let's get onto a web page. All right, so I'm here in Google, and we're going to go Tableau Public. Okay, and you can see I've already pre-searched that. So Tableau Public. Okay, we're going to go here. And there's actually two things called Tableau Public, and I think maybe this is sometimes a bit of uh, confusion. Tableau, there's the Tableau Public software, and then there's the Tableau Public community, right? What you're looking at is the community, and the idea is um, using Tableau Desktop or Tableau Public, you can publish your visualizations to the community at Tableau Public. Okay, that's part one. The second part is the actual software itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to go Tableau Public Download. Okay, we're going to go download Tableau Public. Okay, and kind of the same as everything else. You put your email address, download. Install is very simple. Just come. It comes as an installation file. Open it up and it'll install. It's pretty straightforward. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring up the two software side by side. I've actually been doing some work on them separately. So what I'll do is I'll just open two fresh ones and I'll show you just a few differences, which is kind of the main idea. So this is this video is really for people who don't know anything about Tableau and they're trying to figure out where to start. So if you're on like a, sh a shoestring budget or you're just trying to see what it is, Tableau Public is the way to go. Okay, so we've got Tableau Public there, and let's open a fresh Tableau Desktop. Okay, and I'm going to put this side by side. Okay, straight off the bat, one of the main differences with Tableau Desktop, which is what I've got here on the left side, um, is that you can connect to way more things. So in Tableau Public, you can only connect to these things, and I think there's only two items in this more category, three items, right? So you don't have all the connectors um, available, whereas in Tableau Desktop, you have all the connectors um, because obviously you want full functionality. Um, the other main difference is, let's say I've got uh, an Excel file I'm going to connect to. So let me, my computer's just lagging because I am downloading Overwatch, baby. Uh, and I've never played that before, but my cousin tells me all about it. So I'm going to drop this just sample data set in here. So you can still connect to some basic data set, so it's good for kind of just practice. Uh, and I'm going to do it for the same thing on this one. Everything looks pretty much the same, not much difference here. Um, you'll notice that there's no connection feature. And the reason for that is you can't actually save files locally on your system using Tableau Public, right? Because this all is dependent on being able to save the extract somewhere, but you don't get that function. Okay, so going into sheet one for both of them. Okay, and that one's a little bit slower. Still looks pretty much the same. What you'll notice up here is there's no server button. All right, and that is because with Tableau Public, anything that you do, you know, bar charts, whatever, the only place you can save it is Tableau Public Community. Okay, so be very careful with Tableau Public that, you know, if you're testing some information from your company or your business or whatever, and it's got privacy information, um, you know, uh, customer information, stuff like that, you want to be very careful not to save it. So if I go into this one on the left, so Tableau Desktop, you see I can save the workbook, I can export the pa uh, package and all that kind of stuff. With Tableau Public, let's say I build just a simple um, visualization here, all right, so we've got like a bar chart. For example, oh, let's get fancy. <laughs> okay, um, let's say that I haven't got a save as except save to Tableau public, which means once I save it, you have to create an account, which is very simple. Let me go back to here, right? So when you go sign in, sign up, it's going to prompt you anyway, and then you can log in. And then when you save it, it saves it to your profile, but it's public. Every, everyone can see it. So that is kind of the most important part. I suppose if you're doing online training, stuff like my Udemy course, uh, the complete uh, Tableau course on that, Tableau Public is a good way to go to get going. Once you need other connectors connecting to servers or cloud and all that, you need to start upgrading um, to publish to a Tableau online site. Let's say, for example, so for those unfamiliar, the power of Tableau itself is that it's part of a 
big environment. So you got people designing visualizations, you know, uh, let's say here in Tableau desktop, right? I'm going to again, just create something simple, something like that. And then you publish it to a Tableau platform or Tableau cloud or online, whatever you want to call it. I don't want to complicate it too much. Um, and that's where the company can log in and view the results. Okay. In a nutshell, if you want to know more about that, I'll probably do another video on the Tableau environment, but those are kind of the main differences um, in terms of functionality. Now, in terms of cost, this is zero dollar, right? As for Tableau desktop, which we'll go over here, we'll go Tableau. I think I can just go Tableau pricing. So as of this filming, Okay, so for individuals, so if it's just a single person, you're going to buy a creator license, $70 US per user per month build annually. So what that means is, if I get my calc, so 70 by 12 um, US dollars, you got to pay it once at the start of the year, period. But what you get with that is you get Tableau Desktop, Tableau Prep, which is data cleaning, and Tableau Online. And you can also publish to Tableau Public if you want to. So let me show you how you do that. When you go here, server, Tableau Public, save as, instead of that being here, I believe. Yeah, so you can see that's not in there. So slight differences. Um, so going back to that costing, and then if you want to get kind of more in-depth costing, you can go teams and organizations. This is usually just for like businesses and stuff. Uh, if you want to get into that, if you want to understand how all this stuff works, just let me know. Um, but that is the gist of Tableau public versus Tableau desktop. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, I publish, uh, don't forget to subscribe. I publish new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And until then, bye.